the starting matchup. As you can see, Summers in the middle against Talbot. 6-3, both weigh 200 pounds. In the Cardinal, trimmed in gray, West Frankfurt, Kiwani, in the white, trimmed in orange and black. We're set. The ball starts. West Frankfurt, now remember, they'll want a slower tempo game. Kiwani will want a quicker tempo game. Man-to-man -man opening. Chris Snyder is 52. Pulaski will get the ball a lot, 50. Foul line one-hander rolling home Fiore. Fiore got it down. Now Kiwani comes back with Townsend in the left corner. Tim Bucky Wilson will roam the baseline. And he's with the ball. Defense is zone. Sinking. They post Talbot inside and Becker. 20 is Townsend playing all over the court. Think of it. Missed. And the rebound to Tom Pulaski. Frankfurt does a great job boxing off the bus. You see us all night. Is this Henson wearing 32 instead of the 34 he was advertised? I'm really certain. I'll check that, Frank. 32 is listed as Mike Goss. It is, but they had, they had Henson called out as a starter. Let's check that. Pulaski with the ball, number 50. In the middle of the goes poked away by Kiwani. Henson is wearing 32, Frank, for your information. That's correct. Baseline Fiore hands it off inside the Pulaski, stolen by Kiwani. Here they come. West Frankfurt in the lead. Kiwani the other way as the ball tapped out of bounds. And double dribble is called, turning the ball over to West Frankfurt. So Mike Henson was going to wear 34, wears 32 in red. He's 6'3", senior. That's him in the backcourt at six foot three. He lost the ball. Kiwani with it. Stepping all the way in. Shinkovic. No. Two to nothing. Frankfurt starting. Shinkovic. Tim Shinkavich, they changed the pronunciation of the name out. This is the, this is the correct one. They want Shinkavich, and that's what we'll give them. Shinkavich uh, has been the pronunciation all season. I don't know why. He's before the state tournament. Pulaski is number 50. Kiwani on the defense. Inside the ball goes in the lane. From behind, Pat Townsend, jump ball. Dwayne Summers made the move. Pat Townsend from behind. So Kiwani has it. And they're trying to get their first two points of the game. We played two minutes. Tim Wilson, they call him Bucking. Right side, look at the pressure. Townsend turns. No. Rebound to Pulaski. He averages 13 a game. And Pulaski's an active player. Henson. Andy Fiore is 21. Try to look inside. They run the high post now. Henson exchanges with Chris Snyder, 52. Down low is Henson. Turn, one-hander. Overshot. Rebound on the run. Tim Davis pushes it up. Shot is well short by Shannon Talbot. And West Frankfurt, who wants the tempo slow, has got it. Two to nothing. They're in the lead. Chris Snyder. 18 big points in the super section away. Fiore tried to beat his man baseline. Flaski comes top of the key. Fiore right side. Under five minutes first quarter. Just two to nothing. West Frankfurt in the lead. Kiwani man to man. Henson exchanges with Fiore. They're being very patient. In the middle they go. Shot is the lot. Dwayne Summers shot is rejected. Here comes John Becker the other way, long. And so both teams slow getting out of the gate. Yeah, they uh, he drug his pivot foot there. He tried to stop, couldn't stop without dragging it. 
Uh, I, it would not surprise me to see this game score at uh, halftime, like 10-8, 14-12. Uh, well, if West Frankfurt gets their way, it won't be a high-scoring affair. David Lee likes to play fast. He says you just got to play with what your personnel dictates. Mike Henson. Played fast when he had Brian Sloan, didn't he? <laughs> you better believe it. Henson, 32, double team now in the ball. Fiore takes a rhythm jumper. No. And unlike Ohio, who blitzed out, these teams are cold. Pull up one-hander, Wilson. Nice rebound by Mike Henson. It's still two to nothing, West Frankfurt. And West Frankfurt's pitching a shutout. Alaski comes to the high post. West Frankfurt prefers his Texas of shot outside like that. Alaski just beat his man. He blew by Shannon Talbot for two. Four to nothing. Pat Townsend goes to the corner. In trouble is Talbot. Good interior defense by West Frankfurt. The Redbird. Wilson, 34, will play all over the court for Kiwani. Kinkiewicz gets the ball into Talbot and a whistle. Three twenty-four to go. On Pulaski. Pulaski, as you see, Mike Kirkham on the bench. Coach to Eureka earlier in his career before Kiwani. Inside, Kiwani gets the first two as Shannon Talbot makes the move. So it's a four to two game, and Kiwani extends the pressure. Henson at 6'3", against Wilson, a six-footer. Wilson a bit quicker. No trouble for West Frank. Pulaski three. Yes. Six to two, Redbird. Townsend's open. Let fly. Long rebound. West Frankfurt a nice job, but he walked. Good effort by Dwayne Summers, who really went charging after that ball. You see there the sea of orange of Kiwani. And now there's a whistle and a timeout on the court. West Frankfurt leading Kiwani 6-2. One of your network sponsors is Lasso. Out of sync in the early part of the game. Uh, Frank, uh West Frankfurt likes you to take that shot on the outside because they figure they're going to rebound every one of them. And uh, th this is the kind of game that Frankfurt likes to get you in. David Lee is the first Class A coach to bring two different teams to the state finals. The other was McLeansboro, and they he beat McLeansboro in the regional this year, 54-47. With the ball, Kiwani. They go inside and travel. Kiwani tried to take the ball with John Becker inside, and the turnovers are mounting up. Frankfurt leading 6-2 with 2.38 in the first quarter. Frank Lissoni and Art Kimball along with Coach Bob Dallas. He just joined us in the red with the ball. West Frankfurt. Double teaming Kiwani now. Physical nature here is almost like two double A teams, and both of these are very close to the breakoff. Uh, Frankfurt 700 students, Kiwani 706. Shot from the right side, Henson, no. The battle for the board is a jump ball. Dwayne Summers banging bodies in there with Shannon Talbot, a couple of 200-pounders. And West Frankfurt keeps it. Henson plays up top. Fiore wing right. Zone by Kiwani this time. Chris Snyder took a look at a 20-footer and didn't. On the 205. Kiwani has been stopped by West Frankfurt, 6-2 here in the first quarter. Got my West Frankfurt twice, now three times. Pulaski tips at it again, and the rebound comes to Townsend. Stolen by West Frankfurt. Dwayne Summers at four tries and have the ball back. The Redbirds in control in the first quarter. Fiore finds Pulaski. A couple of tough clubs from tough town. Good, hard-working style. And they'll bang heads here tonight. A minute 25. Mike Henson playing outside now along with Chris Snyder. 6-2. Snyder barges into the lane. Gets it off to Summers. He turns. Has the shot partially blocked and taken down by Shinkavis. Tim hustles into the front court. He's 185 pounds. A minute and five seconds to play. Townsend sends it inside to Talbot, who works his way in. The ball will not count, and a foul is called on the Redbirds. Foul is on. Andy 
Fiore, 21. There's Sinkiewicz going out of the game. Henry Hall checked in for Tijuana. This is Shannon Talbot. 62% foul shooter. Talbot averages 19.3, and he had 27 big ones in the super sectional. So he can score. Missed that. Rebound, Townsend. Talbot got it back. Fake and go. Off the window, foul. Foul again on West Franklin. I believe it was on Pulaski. That's it. That was a big foul there, Frank. Big foul. Second foul on Pulaski. Look at it. Yeah, you got him on the, on the arm. It was a good call. And Shannon Talbot goes right back to the line to cut the lead to two if he can. It's now six to four, Franklin. All four points by Shannon Talbot. Five out of five for Kiwani. They're down one. We're under a minute in the first quarter. Mike Henson is in trouble. Skips it over the pressure. 45 seconds. West Frankfurt wants one shot. Pulaski's outside. And so is Henson. 35 seconds now. Chris Snyder. Chris passing. They're under control. Half a minute. Zone extends for Kiwani. Nearly tipped away. 23 seconds. Snyder, 52. Crowd chanting, boring. Of course, the crowd from Kiwani is doing the chanting. 15 seconds now. Playing for one with a one-point lead. West Frankfurt, 9, 8, 10. Let's not go to Pulaski here. Here he comes with four. Pulaski shot. Go! With two seconds. Pulaski drilled it right at the buzzer. At the end of one quarter of play, West Frankfurt, eight, Kiwani, five. One of your network sponsors, DeKalb Pfizer Genetics. Were scored primarily because the defense was good and the shooting was not. Kiwani, one of seven, 14%. West Frankfurt, four of 14, 28%. Well, of course, uh, four of those that was, was at one time there, Frank, on the putbacks and, uh, that they missed. Uh, this is the type of game that Frankfurt likes to get you in. This is their type right here. And they're leading and rebounding 8-6. to six. Three out of four free throws for Kiwani has held them in. Only one player for Kiwani has scored. Talbot with five. Second quarter. Henry Hall with Kiwani. Inside Talbot. Steps in and scores. At seven. Eight to seven in favor of West Frankfurt. They move Lucky Wilson to the baseline too, Frank. You may see him shoot in the corner a little bit. With Henry Hall out there. Hawking the ball. The Redbirds in control with Fiore on the right side. Pulaski plays everywhere. Kicks the ball out to Henson. 7.20 to play. First half. A one-point game with West Frankfurt in the lead with the ball. This is Pulaski. They're trying to get him left room now. Henson tries to hit. Mike Henson from the left wing. And look at David Lee get into the game. Near steal. Kiwani holds on to it. Kiwani looking for Pat Townsend down in the corner. Townsend holds high. He's 6'5. He can get the ball in the basket too. He averages almost 14 a game. He's Henry Hall of 5'8. The quick junior goes to the baseline and finds himself free. Missed it. Rebound Mike Henson. Now the Redbirds with a three-point lead. The tempo difference is dramatic. West Frankfurt wants it patient, lots of passes. Pulaski sets the high post, whirls and pops. Hounds and rebound, Pulaski fouled him. I don't believe, I believe they called it on Summers. It was. Pulaski, you were right, Pulaski fouled him, but the call was on Summers. Dwayne Summers picked up the foul, <laughs> and you can see Pulaski wheel his head around there just to check it. 6.28 to play in the first half. Let's see what Hall can do. Wilson, right corner. Inside Talbot. He's been the man. He turns. Missed. And West Frankfurt allowed him only one crack that time. 
And the Redbirds control it. Henson isn't quick, but he's steady. Handles the ball all right. Andy Fiore. The ball to Pulaski. Slides down the lane with a left hand for two. I believe it counts. The foul is on John Becker. Counts the goal by Pulaski with the left hand. He just didn't get there in time. It's true. He did, it was a good call. Watch Pulaski's left hand. Hello. Off the window. And he goes to the three-point play. And put it down. 13-7. West Frankfurt in the lead. Just under six minutes to play in the half. Talbot is down. And this is a three-point play for him as Shannon Talbot blew into the lane. Fouls on Chris Snyder. Chris Talbot takes it right to the goal here. Uh, just just a des great desire. He's, going, he, he's really hungry. He's a horse in there. Yes, he is. He's going to go hard. And, and gets them right back in the, within three points. Is a three-point play. He's got 10 points in the game, and Kiwani's got 10. It's a big turnaround from 13 to 7, 13, 10, and right back in. Greg Johnson, a 6'6 sophomore, just checked in for West Frankfurt. 204-pounder. Only a sophomore. Those are the kind good. you coaches like, huh? Yeah, a pretty good defensive player. Good rebounder. 5.45 to play in the half. Frankfurt by 13 to 10, and now 15 to 10, as the running one-hander by Greg Johnson goes down and just gets in the game. The Boilermakers on offense now. Hall comes to the right. Townsend's open from the foul line. Pat Townsend drilled his first deuce. A three-point game for West Frankfurt. Teams are really into this game. The coaches, both sides, they want to make that final four. We've got three excellent teams. One of these two will join them tomorrow. There's Snyder. He can score. Velasquez comes out. Now they post up Snyder. Fiore's open. Rebound inside Johnson. Lost it out of bounds to West Frankfurt. Greg Johnson battling at the sophomore. Now 32, Tim Shinkavis comes back in the game for Kiwani. Well, here's the steal. Kiwani's got the ball, and Shinkavis is with it. Face right, goes left for two. His first two gets Kiwani within one. Makes the old coach look good when he puts the kid in. Bang, he gets a deuce. He always frees himself. Cuts the ball across inside of the bounce, and the one-hander is up and down and in by Snyder. Let's see if it counts. Good basket. Foul is on Townsend. Count the goal. Snyder with a lot of bounce that time. Stocks it in, and Townsend fouled it. The thing about the philosophy, Frank, is that he'll go outside and shoot the 15, 16 footer as well as being a good passer. Three point play is missed, but Pulaski rebounds and scores. Tom Pulaski gives Frankfurt a five point lead with his 11th point. 4 8 first half. West Frankfurt by five. He saved it. Albert comes out to get the ball. Now barges down the lane for a two. Maybe waves it off. No basket. Tough break for Shannon Talbot. He got the foul, but he doesn't get the hoop. Got him up high, though. Shannon Talbot has really made his presence felt around the basket for Kiwani. He's number 42. He's 6'3", 200 pounds. He's a senior, 17 years old. He's a 62 for Trent Lowski. Tim Wilson checks back in for two. Henry Hall says. For 42, Talbot with 10 in the game of Kiwani's 14. He's got 
Kiwani within four. And they've got a good representative crowd here at the assembly hall. Talbot missed that one. He's got the long rebound. Townsend, no. Rebound. Talbot again, this time to West Frankfurt. 350 in the half. Mike Henson direct between the rings, way outside. They set up a 1 2 2 set offensively. Pulaski breaks up. Top. West Frankfurt's going to take some time off the clock, try to get a high percentage shot. He won. Play defense. Inside, up and down and home. Greg Johnson. His fourth point. Johnson, the sophomore, a big lift. 21 15. West Frankfurt. Wilson on the scoop. Black. And a foul. Fiore got his hand on the ball. I believe the foul was on Johnson. Yeah, it was. I can't believe Kiwani has gotten no firepower out of Bucky Wilson has gotten this ball game. And Townsend from one into one field goal. They're trying to get the shot. They're trying to get the West for defense, certainly. Have they played hard much differently in this game than earlier when you saw them? Yeah, much slower. Much slower tempo. Did you get that nailed down, Frank? That's the difference. Shannon Talbot. Knocks in another one. And he's been a handful. He's got 11. The average is 19.3. I think it's about what we expected, though. A ball game that basically says it's a lot of defensive emphasis. Kiwani has not gone to the type of pressure I think we'll see from them in the second half. And uh, Frankfurt, obviously, like all David Lee ball club, knows exactly what they want to do, and they're doing it. John Becker out. Mike Appel in for Kiwani. Free throw. Talbot good again. 21-17, West Frankfurt. Look at the pressure by Kiwani now. That'll speed up the tempo of the game. Pulaski gets free in the front court. West Frankfurt takes pretty good care of the ball. Once they get across the midline, then they set back up. But, uh, they run a lot of uh, the plays away from the ball. They do a lot of screening away from the ball. Away from the ball side. You see some break. They work the baseline very, very well. Pulaski bucks up, gets the ball, turns and pulls the trigger. Yes! You could see that play coming as he ran the baseline. He blew up into the lane. Got it down, and the foul is on Townsend. So it's a three-point opportunity for Pulaski. 13. For Tom Pulaski, his season's average. He didn't get the roll. Shannon Talbot did get the rebound, and Greg Johnson fouled him. Talbot used his weight to advantage. Third foul on Greg Johnson already. 2.47 to play in the half. And the 6'6 sophomore has three. Shannon Talbot has spent most of the half at the foul line. Indeed he has. Seven out of eight up there. They need him the way they're playing offensively, Frank. They're having trouble finding the hole. That one's down. It's a five-point Kiwani deficit. Kiwani, the hog capital of the world. They drilled Anawan 75 to 52 to get here. Talbot's their big score. He's got a pair. Now we got a whistle and a timeout on the court. 2.47 to play in the half, and West Frankfurt's holding on to the lead. One of your sponsors is Deutsch Ballard. By Peoria, WCEE Mount Vernon, WQAD in Moline, KHQA Quincy, WSIL Harrisburg, WCID Champaign, PD51 Ogilvy, WQRF Rockford, Central Video Pass Chicago. We welcome you to Class A State Basketball. West Frankfurt 23, Kiwani 19 with 2.42 to go in the first half. Look what I found. Greg Johnson, he missed the layup. He was open alone on the other end and couldn't double get it dribble. down. But a double dribble violation against Kiwani turns the ball back over to the Redbirds. And there you see Mike Kirkham. Boy, was Johnson all by himself. Look at here. I think he heard footsteps. 50 was coming right after him. In case you missed it earlier, Ohio dry clean their opponent. St. Teresa to move on. Fiore turns and shoots. Nice rebound, Johnson inside, missed it, tip to Lassie, no, next rebound, Snyder! 
And West Frankfurt pounds the boards with four points for Snyder. Wilson trying to give some offense now to Kiwani. Kinkavich, right corner. Two minutes, first half. Inside, Talbot, no. Rebound, yes! It was Mike Apple, or Appel, check it. 25-21, West Frankfurt by four. Kiwani won't go away. They stay there with the pressure. Snyder got free. Inside, Pulaski steps in for two. Nice play by Snyder, saw the court. And it goes to Talbot. Traveling. Kiwani's game has been very one-dimensional in the first half, however, going strictly into Talbot. Tough kids on both sides. I don't know the West Frankfurt personnel that well, Frank, but I know uh, most of Kiwani's players are off their football team that did qualify for the playoffs. But I would look for them to try to, uh, despite the fact that's what David Lee wants, maybe shoot over that defense a little bit. Mike uh, Henson got away from his man, gave it to Fiore, who was fouled. But Mike Pulaski, Tom Pulaski, was a quarterback on West Frankfurt football team. Good athlete, no question about that. He's been very impressive here tonight, Bob. Foul was on Henry Hall. Like this Mike Henson, he's very heady. He sees the court, he takes it down and finds the open man. That time it was Andy Fiore. And he stuck the free throw. But so many times, Frank, they'll break uh, Tom Pulaski up high and they'll send the man in the vacated area they leave something. Just generally, uh, all the tipping uh, with for layup. That's one of their offenses they use a lot. Because the defense goes really after Tom Pulaski so hard. This is their biggest lead, is it not? Seven points, 28-21? It is, and Wilson got in, but he missed, and Pulaski rebounds at the 56 minutes mark, 56 second mark of the first half. Frankfurt leading by seven with the ball. That Henson we talked about. Wilson hawks in. Pulaski at 6'5", handles the ball well. They may want one shot. They're running a pattern delay game. Henson is 32. Pulaski comes up top. Half a minute. Their crowd loves it. High post was Greg Johnson. He was fouled. Foul was on Appel, 50, a six-foot senior, A-P-P-E-L-L, -L. and a sophomore, Greg Johnson, at 6'6 and 204, goes to the free throw line where he's averaging only 31%. But he got that one down for an eight-point lead. The Redbirds have been solid in the first half. Johnson got them both. Nine-point lead. Kiwani in a hurry. Right through Talbot's hands. And Kiwani remains out of sync. As their coach, Mike Kirkham, looks on. He wants pressure on defense, and he's got it. From Tim Wilson. It comes Henson. Pulaski with 10 seconds. Will West Frankfurt get the last shot? They already lead by nine. Henson. Pulaski had the ball tapped away. Now it's Shinkavich. Two seconds. One second. Wilson. He made it. And it counts. He got it down at the goal. Wow, what a close to the half. As Tim Bucky Wilson got it down for Tiwani and makes the halftime score. West Frankfurt, 30 and Kiwani with two. Hall and did, and Becker played and did not score. Townsend, the only player with more than one foul for Kiwani. So Talbot and Pulaski with 15 points apiece, the leading scorers here. And I don't know if there's much to choose here in the first half. It's very, very close. Which of these two teams? Because uh, uh, they're so physical and they do such a great job of, of, of controlling the ball. I, I know you want to run with them. Everybody likes to run with them. But, you know, you don't get to do what you want to do. And that, uh, I haven't seen them when they didn't get to do what they want to do. They control the ball. Coach, how important is it for teams 
to play a, a higher level, to play class double-A teams during the year? Well, I think it's a big factor because the people you play against are more physical, bigger kids, stronger kids, and, and this is true of West Springfield. They have a, a tougher schedule. They play double-A schedule, and now, sure, some of the teams are, are A, but basically they're in a double-A uh, schedule in a conference of double-A people, West and Frank it has a big factor. West Frankfurt won their first nine games, and then they lost six in a row, and they had a young man transfer, and David Lee's actually taken this team apart and put it back together. Well, they were going great when they had the point guard that uh, moved in there. Then ha something happened. They wasn't, uh, got ineligible. Had to, had to uh, move back and so forth. And then he had to regroup. And uh, like he said, all through the month of January, he didn't win a ball game. And uh, they've come on strong in this last half of the season. You know, Kiwani's got more weapons than Shannon Talbot. He had a brilliant first half. But Pat Townsend and Tim Wilson have got to get into the offense. Well, uh, uh, you know, Frank... Uh, West Frankfurt wants you to shoot that 16, 17 foot shot. That's they of 20 from the field, 35 percent. West Frankfurt much better, 13 of 28 with eight more shots, 46 percent. Foul shooting, Kiwani, a gaudy 82 percent on nine of 11. Frankfurt four for seven, 57 percent. The rebounding went to West Frankfurt, but by two, 17 to 15. Kiwani turned the ball over seven times, and West Frankfurt turned the ball over five times. Ball club is not playing the way we'd like them to. I imagine David Lee, pretty happy with his first half performance. Uh, he has been dominant in the areas that he has to dominate. Uh, I'll be surprised if he won. He doesn't uh, get Bucky Wilson into the offense more in the second half. Also, Pat Townsend and uh, intensify the pressure a little bit. Although, Frankfurt is not an easy ball club to press. They're very cool under fire. I believe that they'll try to go to Shannon Talbot even more. Uh, since uh, Tom Pulaski picked up two quick fouls, I thought they'd go to him a lot more than they did. Well, we'll find out. In red, West Frankfurt with the ball and a seven-point lead as we start the second half. Snyder, 52. Baseline, Fiore got in. And Frankfurt draws first blood, second half. Sinkiewicz loses it. And the turnover gives the Redbirds the ball back. Kiwani has the weapons to climb back in any game. They're only nine behind him with a whole half to play. But West Frankfurt, a nine-point lead is a big one when they the way they play. Here's the ball loose, picked up by Wilson. The Boilermakers on the scoop. Oh, nice pass to Talbot for two. Tim Wilson really made that play work. Sure did. He was looking one way and through the other. It's just a great, he just threaded the needle. Fiore goes up against Wilson and beat him. So far, West Frankfurt has taken good care of the ball. Henson at 6-3, changes with Pulaski. Snyder, ball fake, traveling. 7-0-7 to play in the third quarter. And Mike Kirkham, Kiwani Boilermakers, get it back. This is Tim Wilson. Look into Talbot. There's Talbot. Steps in. Has the ball slapped away. Picked up by West Frankfurt. Henson in transition. All the way down. Pull up one-hander. Off the glass. I don't know if he shot at the glass, but it was effective. Talbot back on the other end. Short. Ball in the hands of Henson again. And a foul on Kiwani. on 30, John Becker. Yeah, he pushed him here all the way. He was pushing him, and he just couldn't get off of it. He's good throw. Fiore's on the other end, back to live action, and he gets it down. Surprisingly, uh, West Frankfurt's moving the ball out a little bit quicker than what uh, they were the first half. You know that you folks told me they were going to sit on the ball a little bit. Not this way. <laughs> Timeout, Kiwani. They got that lead. <laughs> it's an 11-point Frankfurt lead. And one of your network sponsors is Lasso. Now is West Frankfurt got an 11-point advantage. That's a, big, that's a big spread for them. And uh, they, they'll take the fast break when they get it. They surprised Kiwani with that one. And Tim Wilson comes back for the Boilermaker. There's Townsend. Punches the ball inside to Becker. Nice shot. John Becker. Turn around one-hander. Now the press by Kiwani, who's nine down. Yeah, just token. Look at Pulaski at 6'5", bringing the ball up the court against a 6'3", 200-pounder. Multi-purpose player. Snyder, double-team, sends it right out to Henson. 
These players are interchangeable for West Frankfurt. They all play each position. They're collapsing. They run their offense. Free man. Kalaski steps in for the deuce. 17 for Kalaski. 38, 27, West Frankfurt. They like to isolate him, Frank. Give it to him over a one-on-one. -on -one. He does a great job for a big man handling ball. He really does. Here's Shannon Talbot. Double team. Gets it out to Townsend. Takes and goes. Tries. Long rebound, Fiore. And West Frankfurt. 19 and 9. In command right now. Lot inside. Tapped away. Picked up by Bucky Wilson. On the fly. Wilson. Blocked. And a jump ball. No, that's, that's it. Going to go out of bounds to Kiwani. Henry Hall, 14, is in. Tim Kinkiewicz goes out for Kiwani. Kiwani's in white. From the North Central Illinois Conference. Wilson from downtown couldn't get that one to go. That's the first shot from that range that Wilson tried. Last year, he shot at that range all the time. This year, of course, he's been more of the point guard, the playmaker type. Henson backing in against Hall. Henson with a size advantage, but Hall with quickness. Nearly got it. Fiore picked it off. Fiore finds Pulaski. Moves and goes. Missed the work and a rebounding foul. Foul on Snyder. On Chris Snyder. Undercut him as he went up. David Lee seems to have a certain amount of magic that he can weave, Bob. Uh, he did it in McLeansboro. He's obviously going to do it at Frankfurt. Uh, this is a very well-drilled ball club, and they do a lot of things extremely well. Exactly right. They've earned this lead. Yes, they have. Paul and Wilson exchange on the right. It goes into Talbot. Two men on him. He barges in, and he's fouled by Greg Johnston. They don't do too many things wrong. All right, uh, check who that foul's on. It's not on Johnston. It's on Fiore. It's on Fiore. They hemmed him in. It's the second one on Fiore. There they are. It could have been called on either one. Fiore or Johnson. 44, Dwayne Summers. 61, Junior. 200 pounds back in for the Redbirds. They have the concern Kiwani. They haven't been able to make any kind of a run tonight. That's what Frank was doing. Shannon Talbot misses the free throw. We're talking about momentum, of course. Pulaski is a run stopper, too. This one looks like you're going to. It makes a big play for the Redbirds. Talbot missed them both. And it's 11 point West Frankfurt lead. Henson, who averages 10 points and five rebounds a game, has it at the point. Down in the corner, Summers finds a bounce pass to Snyder for the layup. They handle that ball. Six for Snyder. Wilson passes up the shot, but Townsend doesn't. Long rebound to the running Chris Snyder. West Frankfurt's got Snyder on the scoop. Good. No goal. Card. The third foul on Chris Snyder is a charge. Take the basket away. What is a good downfield oh, blocking on that play? a good call. He, he, he really drove through him. <laughs> it's a good call. Almost every time you see a player dip the shoulder, they get the offensive right. foul. Well, he was looking for the cornerback or the linebacker on that one as he went to the hoop. Wilson comes flying in on the right and banks it up. No. Rebound, Shannon Talbot. It's a big rebound there. Good rebound. Came from nowhere. 19 for Talbot. And fine, now it's a fine athlete, Talbot, Frank. Isn't he? Fine athlete. 40-29, West Frank. 325 to play, third quarter. Frank Bassoni and Art Kimball, along with Coach Bob Dallas, from Assembly Hall in Champaign. Now West Frank are being patient again. Henson lets it go. Bring music for Mike Henson, who has four. Ever see a David Lee team that couldn't shoot pretty well? There's got to be a reason for that. <laughs> but, Frank, they're all good shots. Well, you know, that's yeah. probably the reason. All right, there's Talbot, blocked by Pulaski. They work to get the good shot. Boy, if that wasn't a foul, that was a great defensive play. And Snyder... Brings it up. Pulaski swatted away from behind at 6-5. He's had a big game. Summers comes outside. 
run a lot of screens away from the ball. Fiore drills it. Andy Fiore, a baseline runner from the right side. Nine points for Fiore. And now, Kiwani's in trouble. Talbot got free, rolled it in. He's a one-man gang right now with 21 of Kiwani's 31. 220 in the third. Pulaski comes out and helps with the ball and gives it up to Henson. Look how active Pulaski is. On the move, Snyder traveling. Shannon Talbot pointing to Mike Kirkham saying, give me a rub. He's going to get out this moment. 50, Mike Appel in, Shannon Talbot out. Appel, six foot, senior. Wilson and Hall will bring it up for Kiwani. Just under two minutes in the third quarter. There's Townsend, baseline. That one goes down. Townsend, and now the press by Kiwani. They find themselves 11 back with a minute 45. And we'll pass along some double-A scores here when we can. Here's a whistle and a foul. Looks like Pulaski might have got poked in the eye or the head. Foul is on Mike Appel, his second, with a minute 40. And sitting in the back is double team. He just throws over it, way down to Summers, intercepted by Wilson. This quick move by Bucky Wilson. Paul's on the right. Kiwani looks for the hoop. It's Townsend. Didn't go. Dwayne Summers forced on the board. That's Frankfurt winning the battle of the glass. 1-10 to play in the third. Pulaski this time on the right wing. Watch how many different places he is on the court. Now he cuts across the paint. There he is down on the low block. Has the ball slapped out of his hand. Good play by Appel. That's made an easy bucket. As they skip by over that zone defense. Bucky Wilson won out of the game, too. Now into the game. Greg Johnson, number 40. Shannon Talbot back in for Kiwani. Appel is out. Tim Chadera in the ball game for the first time, too. Pride number 22 as Pod Wilson comes out. Podera, 5'11", junior. For Kiwani is in. Henson adjusts in the air as a player flew at him. Rebound to Fiore. 54 seconds in the third. West Frankfurt by 11. And nearly a turnover. And now Fiore. West Frankfurt stays in control. Summers way outside. Pulaski's on the left. Now he goes to the high post. Double teaming the ball, the Boilermakers. There's Pulaski helping out. And Henson, 28 seconds, third quarter. West Frankfurt with an 11-point advantage in the ball. Summers is a shell of an offense now. They're playing without essentially a center. 13 seconds, 12 are going for one. And they've played extremely well, the Redbirds. They tuck in. Henson's going to go for it. 22-footer. No. Rebound with one. No, and that's the end of three-quarters of play. For shooting 526, Frank, on 20 of 38. Kiwani just a shade better than 36% on 12 of 33. Here are some scores from Class AA sectionals. Peoria Emanuel, 57. Lincoln, 55. Rock Island, 78. Canton, 65. Evanston, the winner, 50 to 47 over Arlington Heights, Hersey. We'll give you more as we can. Manuel and Lincoln, a great ball game at uh, Robertson Fieldhouse in Peoria tonight, huh? Two-pointer. Two fine teams. All right, Snyder in the backcourt. West Frankfurt in the red with the ball. As you just joined us, they're leading by 11, and they've led all the way. They led 30-23 at halftime. Kiwani gets one down by Henry Hall from the left wing. It's a nine-point game. And now West Frankfurt's ability to continue to handle that ball will be tested. 
And West Frankfurt says, no, let's quit a minute. 7-19 to play in the game. Kiwani's making a move. One of your network sponsors is DeKalb Pfizer Genetics. After three, it looks like this. Kiwani, 12 of 33 for 36%. West Frankfurt, 20 of 38, 53%. Free throw shooting, 9 of 13 for Kiwani. That's 69%. West Frankfurt, 4 of 7, 57%. West Frankfurt winning the rebounding battle, 25-18, and has two more turnovers. So it comes to this. The final seven. Here's the steal. Inside Hall. Got it. Count it. And here come the Boilermakers. Foul was on Andy Fiore. And Henry Hall has ignited Kiwani. It's five straight points this for Frank. I think you'll see more full court pressure rather than just one on uh, one man on the ball. I think you'll see more of a zone press. Free throw hall is no. And the rebound comes to Chris Snyder. A seven-point game. It's seven minutes. Another steal by Hall. Inside a foul on Pulaski. Henry Hall has really put some fire into the Kiwani offense. Once again, David Lee stops 12, 7.02 to go. We've got a ball game. One of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. And Kiwani has four points in this quarter, all by Henry Hall, and that's all the scoring. So Kiwani has come from 11 down to only 7 down because of Henry Hall. Tomorrow we'll have 11 o'clock, Hoopston and Tutopolis, 31-1 against 31-0, and, and that will start our semifinal action. Ohio will be in the other game against the winner here. Henry Hall has five points in the quarter. A 5'8 junior has come off the bench to bring Kiwani within six, and there's part of the big throng here from Henry County in that area. Hall again. Not this time. Summers rebounds. And now will West Frankfurt answer? Just under seven minutes to play. Snyder in front court. Pulaski's the key man. They'll look for it. They try to get it to him and it's stolen by Wilson. Up ahead is Townsend. Shovels it back to Calvin who missed. But Wilson rebounded and was fouled. Wilson got the ball off the glass and a foul on West Frankfurt. Mike Henson picked it up. Now we're seeing some of that uh, Wilson quickness. Well, they call it the other way, called on uh, Pulaski. I beg your pardon, that's his fourth, his fourth foul. A big play. Pulaski's fourth foul and a missed free throw by Wilson. Wilson is a 59% free throw shooter. and missed three of the last four free throws. It'd be right in this game right now. He got that one. It's 44 to 39, West Frankfurt, and West Frankfurt still looks for their first point in the last quarter. Pulaski, he may dribble the ball down the court. At 6'5", triple team for Summers. Three man is Snyder. He's in, but a whistle first, so it doesn't count. And Bucky Wilson was happy with the call because they had escaped the trap for the layup, and uh, Bucky was delighted. He got whistled for the foul. A fortuitous foul for Wilson. That was a sure two for Snyder on the other end. Only three team fouls on Kiwani in the second half, Frank. And of course, Kiwani's on the boat. Fiore gets help in the backcourt. And there's Pulaski. As the ball nearly slapped away by Talbot. Five point West Frankfurt lead. But Kiwani has that momentum that Art was referring to early. They made their run. They've been ignited by Henry Hall. Follows on Wilson. Still a common foul. Team foul number four on the boiler. Next one will put, of course, the Redbirds at the line. That's what uh, David Lee's waiting for. There's Pulaski. Of course, remember, uh, Pulaski with four fouls a big factor right now. Indeed. Snyder comes outside at 6'2 and 190. Here's the ball tipped out of his hands. He's got it back. Down low, Pulaski steps in, and a whistle. Traveling violation on West Frankfurt. 
Look at the crowd for Kiwani. They sense the comeback is continuing. You see the score. The time is 5.55 to play. Who's going to play Ohio tomorrow? Sinkiewicz on the right. Townsend is bumped and fouled by Summers. Kiwani suddenly has about tripled the tempo of their game and uh, have gotten back in it. Looks to me like the Redbirds from uh, West Frankfurt are a little tired right now. Kiwani seems to be reaching back for something uh, extra, but they may be playing tentative because of the foul problem. They have not scored West Frankfurt in the fourth quarter. Townsend missed. Rebound, Talbot, two. It's a three-point game. 13 for Talbot. 23. Three man is Snyder. A five-point West Frankfurt lead as Snyder answered on the other end. What a game. Still 520 to go. Lob to Talbot. He's three. 25 points by Shannon Talbot in the game. It's a three-point game again. Now Pulaski doubled up. Three man up ahead is Snyder. Fiori three. Summers two. Dwayne Summers with a driving layup. It's a five-point Frankfurt lead. And now the teams trade basket. Both well schooled. Neither one wants to give in. Inside Townsend. Miss. Fiori, Spirit. Three man, the other end is Summers. He didn't want it. He decided to play tempo and run some clock. Fiori being pushed by Wilson. Out further on the court. Look how much further the Redbirds offense is on the court now. Here's a near steal by Hall and a foul on Henry. Okay, that'll oh. put West Frankfurt at the line. That's the, uh, puts him on the bonus. Henry Hall has come into the game like he's wearing a jet-propelled backpack. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> wearing him on his knees, huh? <laughs> wow. Yeah, he, he reached around it. A good call, just a good hustling call, though, Frank. They're behind, they gotta go after the ball. Big free throw by Henson is down. A 68% foul shooter drill. A six-point lead on the seventh point by Henson. And Greg Johnson, the 6'6 six, six sophomore in. Dwayne Summers out for West Frankfurt. Henson again. Not that time. It's a six-point game. It's on the even number now. King Tavis, 32 with the ball. Twirled away from his man and was held. Second foul on Henson with 4.13 to play. You know, this game has accelerated so much that suddenly it's hard to realize how much time is left. There's a long way to go in this ball game. Actually, he lost control of the ball here, Frank. He got fouled, but actually he was not in control of the ball at the time he was fouled. Free throw is missed by Tim Sintavis. 53% foul shooter. Four free throw and has just killed him this quarter. They missed six in the second half at the Boilers. The Boilers are now within five points. They will apply coast-to-coast -coast pressure. Pulaski and Shannon Talbot in the back. In the middle it goes. Snyder kicks it over to Fiore. He's loose. Block. Rebound. Snyder for two. Chris Snyder. A seven-point West Frankfurt lead. Snyder has ten. Nice pass into Talbot, this whirling one-hander. Pulaski claims, foul on Hall. And just like that, West Frankfurt grabs the momentum back. Iwani made a run, and now West Frankfurt has held him off for the moment. Kiwani asking for a timeout with 3.48 to play. It's still anybody's game as West Frankfurt's in the lead. One of your network sponsors is American Dairy Association of Illinois. Eight to go in double-A games. Westchester St. Joe a winner over Chicago De La Salle. 
Chicago Leo is the winner over St. Francis de Sales. Stephen Decatur beat Quincy 74 to 66. Palatine, Romeoville, Olympia Fields also winners. This is Tom Pulaski of the Redbirds. Good solid 17 point effort for him tonight. He smacked that one in, in the clutch. 18 in the game for Pulaski. 78% foul shooter. Solid player. His dad played in 1961 to 63. He missed that one. The tip out on the long rebound goes to Henry Hall. Hall on the scoop. And now Kiwani must answer again. Sinkevich is open. Long rebound, Fiore taken away by Sinkevich. Inside, Townsend, a layup. Six for Pat Townsend. It's a six-point game. Still plenty of time with 320. Talbot steals off one lane. Snyder gets it up ahead to Greg Johnson. The sophomores played well. Fiore at 6-1. Double team to Henson. Johnson steps in the lane. Is held and fouled by Townsend. The two-shot foul. It's a good foul, though, Frank. Now Johnson is not the best free throw shooter on the on the spot. No way. He's a 31 percenter. Watch yeah. it. Yeah. It's a good foul. No question about those. We can call those from here. 31 percenter, but he tossed in both opportunities tonight. That's true. Two for three on the evening. 3:04 to play. Good not mention this good. We'll try it again. But Frankfurt has led throughout. And they now lead by seven. Well, three out of four isn't bad, fellas. Not bad, it's good. Bucky Wilson calls the play. Townsend sends it into Talbot, who's open. Shannon Talbot slid the baseline, and he has 27 points. It's a five-point game. We're at 249. Will West Frankfurt hold on and fight against Ohio tomorrow? Or will Kiwani? They feel it, and they come back. Kincaidich all the way. Missed it. Missed the driving layup. Oh, nice ball handling by Henson. He gets it away to Snyder. And a whistle and a traveling violation on the Redbirds. With 2.28 left. In a throat tightener. It's a five-point game, and now Kiwani can slice it to three. And it goes to Townsend. Falling away. Oh, what a oh, shot. Oh, oh. What a shot. Townsend with eight. An acrobatic one-hander. West Frankfurt brings it up against pressure. With three ahead. And they lose the ball. Traveling. traveling. The trail official got traveling with 2.03. And Kiwani can come within one. There's a case of the official on top of the play really being blocked out, and Don Huddleston, cross court, had a much better look at it. Well, you don't have to wonder what the adrenaline capital of the state is. It's Champaign-Urbana. Townsend's inside. Good again! And Pat Townsend has brought Kiwani within one. 1.45 to play in the game. And the thriller goes on. Chris Snyder. Gets it to Henson with the left hand. Mike Henson. What a big bucket that was. Three points. Frankfurt lead. You see the clock at the top of your screen. Under a minute and a half. Wilson missed. And the rebound to West Frankfurt. And a foul on Kiwani. And just like that, the game turns. Four fouls on Henry Hall. Townsend with an acrobatic shot and then another to get Kiwani within one, but Red Franklin answers with Mike Henson's left hander. Here's Henson. It's home. 28% for the season. Comes down to where all of Hiding come down to, knocking in free throws down the stretch. Two out of three, ten in the game. 
He hit a pair to give Frankfurt a five-point lead. Now Kiwani in a hurry at 118. It's their ball. Kiwani and White trails by five. And, and Frankfurt doesn't want to foul here either. Kiwani staying alive. Talbot blocked and fouled by Greg Johnson. The sophomore at 6-6 has his fourth foul and has put Shannon Talbot at the free throw line. And Talbot has had one of those special nights. Nine out of 12 at the line, Frank. He's been a load. He put that one down. He has 28 in the game. And he's got Kiwani back within four. One 14 left. 29 for Talbot, a three-point game, and full court pressure to look at for West Franklin. Pulaski in the back. Johnson, the sophomore. Ooh. Free man is Fiore. He's going to go in, puts it up, block, and a foul. Let's see who the foul's on. Foul's on, uh, uh, on West Frankfurt. Hawaii. I mean, West Frankfurt, right? From behind on the rebound. Tom Pulaski, fifth foul. And he's gone. That's all for Pulaski. With 1-0-1 to play, and West Frankfurt is a lead by three. 18 points in the game, and there goes Tom Pulaski. Fouled out with 18. What a big loss this is, Frank, because he helped him to get this tremendous press. Anybody's game, 1-0-1. We'll be back in just a minute points here in the final period and he's pulled Kiwani within three with 101 and Kiwani Mike Turton sits back try to catch a breath as Pat Townsend will go to the free throw line he's a 6'5 16 year old junior he made a, a three big hoops and a great block in this quarter shooting one and bonus to try to get the Boilermakers within one he looked opportunity to the eye and didn't flinch. This could make it a one-point game with a minute, one second. No. West Frankfurt the ball and a two-point lead. Just under a minute left. Watch what happens. Summers in the game right there. 50 seconds. There's the clock. Fiore outside. Fiore moving with the ball. Henson on the high post is Snyder. 40 seconds. Fiore slides left. Frankfurt ahead by two. 33 seconds. Fiore with the ball. West Frankfurt protecting the lead. Kick it way out to Henson. 25 seconds. The men in red with the lead. Here's a steal by Wilson. West Frankfurt gets it back. Henson in traffic, 18 seconds. Two-point lead, foul, Whoop, double dribble, double dribble on West Frankfurt, it's Kiwani's ball with 15 seconds and they want timeout. Goodness. Well, if you like this, we'll be back tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning with the first of our semifinals. Hoops in East Lynn and Tutopolis in the first game. Ohio will play the winner here, and it's still to be decided. West Frankfurt leads by two. Kiwani has the ball with 15 seconds, and Bob Dallas, what do they do now? Well, I think you'll see the ball going to Shannon Talbot. Uh, yeah, definitely looks to me like uh, uh, that's their intent because he is a good free thrower. And I think that's where they'll go with it. And Pulaski has fouled out of the game at 6-5 inside for West Frankfurt, which will hurt them some. Shannon Talbot's been the big scorer in the game, of course. Well, we've had a dandy in our final quarterfinal of the day. A seven-point lead at the half by West Frankfurt, an 11-point lead at the end of three quarters, but Kiwani has come on here in the final period. They've lost only three times all year, and they're trying for their 28th victory, but West Frankfurt has held them off so far. I think that uh, uh, Shannon Talbot... Uh, I think, that he'll, I think he'll be taking the shot. There could be a lot of pressure. I think Frankfurt will give him a lot of pressure in the backcourt. 
We haven't seen uh, West Frankfurt do any pressuring yet. <laughs> All right. Kiwani has Shinkavich and Hall, Townsend, Wilson, and Shannon Talbot in the game. Townsend's going to throw the ball in at three-quarter court. 15 seconds, line of time. Hall at the point. There it comes. Close enough. Kiwani's down by two. They're looking for Talbot. Townsend has the ball. Seven seconds. He shot his no. He's got it back. Go! With four seconds. Three, two, one. Overtime. That's it. Overtime. Overtime. Pat Townsend at the gun. points for Pat Townsend and he has been the story 11 in the fourth quarter for Townsend here he comes his first shot it's short watch him follow and here comes the one that he'll remember for many many years his 11th in the quarter and there's the clock now watch the shot right down with four three you see the clock melting away on West Frankfurt they can't get it stopped and we've got overtime of three minutes at the assembly hall. I definitely uh, think they were really looking at Tal, but they wanted to give it to Tal, but he was closed up, and he, and he had to take the shot. Wow. What a climb for Kiwani. How far were they down? Thinking back now, as we go to overtime, they were down 12 at least, weren't they? I they, think they're down 13 points. Yeah, I believe that may be right. And they were down 11 after three quarters. 44-33. They outscored uh, Frankfurt 24-13 over the last eight minutes. And Townsend once again with 11 points in the fourth quarter alone. And remember, Tom Pulaski's on the bench. Pulaski out of the game with fouls. A big disadvantage for West Frankfurt. Kiwani shoots for the lead for the first time. Will be their first lead. In it goes to Talbot. He's got it. Three-second violation on Kiwani. Now West Frankfurt will see if they can turn it around and come back. The momentum definitely with Kiwani. Fiore, good ball handler. This is Snyder. 2.38 in overtime. Frank Tony, along with Art Kendall and Coach Bob Dallas from the Assembly Hall. It's buzzing. As Kiwani caught West Frankfurt at the gun. Pat Townsend shot at home with about five seconds left in the regulation play. Now it's Mike Henson in the red. Tom Pulaski out on foul for West Frankfurt. Henson's open, doesn't take it. They want a high percentage shot. Fiore, missed it. Rebound, Tom Johnson. Greg Johnson, the sophomore, gives Frankfurt the lead. Ooh, what a big bouncing rebound by the sophomore, 6-6. Six, six. Oh, big lift. Here comes Townsend again. Not this time. Summers picks it off. West Frankfurt, what's the hammer? The ball in the lead. A sophomore has got the deuce here in overtime. We're at 134 left. West Frankfurt tries to hold on to their lead. Gritty team. They just battled. Juani wouldn't stay quick. And West Frankfurt wouldn't turn the other cheek. Summers going away with the ball. In it goes, intercepted by Talbot and out of bounds to West Frankfurt. Mike Kirkham of Kiwani, David Lee of West Frankfurt should be proud of the effort these teams have made. That's Kirkham there. 1-11 in overtime. Now the clock's on the screen. Redbird playing keep away. Maybe somebody's going to have to make some important free throws. from Henson. Under a minute. Three man. Summers steps in. Wide away and fouled by Wilson. Dwayne Summers was free along the baseline. Wilson swatted him in the ball. It was a good foul, Frank. Good foul. Take 
Take one to left arm. Almost for his left arm off. There it is, Dwayne Summers. Two points in the game. Got it down. It's a three-point West Frankfurt lead. Dwayne Summers. 58% foul shooter on the year. Made the big one. And the second one. With 50 seconds now, Kiwani will have the ball. Four down. Here they come. This is Henry Hall. He's got it in overdrive. His shot is missed. Fiore with good position, has the ball. And the men in red are looking good now. They free it. Henson, it's three on one. Henson to the goal! West Frankfurt by six with 25 seconds. They're on their way. Townsend missed. The Redbirds have reclaimed the lead and perhaps the game. 15, Summers, Fiore's in, and he walks with 12 seconds. But there's not much Kiwani can do now because the big enemy's the clock. Here come the Boilermakers. Wilson's gonna go all the way. Lays it in with six seconds and a timeout, a four-point game. Kiwani gets timeout with six seconds. They will apply full court pressure in just a moment. What a game. Great ball game. Uh, I. I felt that Frankfurt uh, would hold the ball actually the whole whole after the, when, they, when they had the ball out the lead. I think they had a guy from the field who's going to get a start. He's going to get a start. He's going to get a start. He's going to get a start. Mike's had himself a great season. There's his Kiwani record, overall record. Pushing near the 200 win mark. He's won 27 and lost three. And this season could end at 27 and four. Last year at 15 and 11 for the Warriors. One big thing, West Frankfurt got caught by that shot by Townsend, but they had the moxie without Pulaski to come right back right. under David Lee and re-grab that lead. Exactly right. They showed a lot of poise there and they lost their top line. I thought that uh, the pressure would would get to them in, uh, without Pulaski's help, but uh, they've handled the ball real well. David Lee, the first Class A coach to bring two different teams to the state final, is six seconds away from the semifinals. Fiore's got it inbound. It's just the time now. Three, two, and a foul with two. And this one belongs to West Frankfurt. Two seconds on the clock. He won. Season has ended to West Frankfurt. Country Company of Insurance, Lasso, Boyd Fallis, American Dairy Association of Illinois, DeKalb, Pfizer Genetics, all happy to be presenting the Class A State Basketball Championship. Henson rolls it home. Many heroes for the Redbirds tonight. Pulaski, Henson, Snyder, Summers, Fiore. Big lift off the bench from Greg Johnson. Henson missed. Two, one. The ball game is over. The final score in overtime. West Frankfurt, a winner. 64 to 59. Don't forget, we'll be here tomorrow at 11 o'clock with Hoopston East Lynn against Tutopolis. That game will be followed by Ohio's Bulldogs going against the Redbirds of West Frankfurt. So for my colleagues, Art Kimball and Bob Dallas, this is Frank Bassoni wishing you all a very pleasant good evening from the Assembly Hall with a final score in the last quarterfinal once again in overtime. West Frankfurt 64, Kiwani 59. So long, everybody.